set the groceries on the stove, and the <laughs> freak. Hello. How's everybody doing tonight? Rude Noodle Nate, nice to see y'all as usual. Appreciate you guys being here. <clears throat> Sorry if my <clears throat> if I'm a little messed up. <laughs> it's uh. <clears throat> Uh, noodle, noodles come down with something, and I think I'm starting to catch it. I've had a bit of a cough and just been exhausted all day. Ugh. But, we're gonna try and play some Final Fantasy X anyways. So, that should be fun. I, I love Final Fantasy games, of course, as everybody should know by now. And, uh, Final Fantasy X is one of the greats, so. What's funny is it's not the model you ordered, though, so <laughs> that's something you're dealing with. Is it at least as good as the model that you ordered, or are you going to have to get it, like, replaced entirely with something else? Of course, playing with on Noodle. I mean, you were the one that got sick first. So, like, I don't... <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say there, love. It's not like I'm blaming on you. This is just, this is just the truth. I mean, yeah, kind of. Sorry, replying to a message real quick. No, yeah, that's definitely a lying no noodle. <laughs> I mean, <coughs> oh, sorry, excuse me. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's obvious, not only to me, but to like to everybody. <laughs> that's a lying ass no right there. Man, for the time, Final Fantasy X looks so good. Like, even now, it doesn't look bad. At least not, like, in the cutscenes and shit, but yeah. Listen Final to my story. Oh. Let him talk, I suppose. This may be our last chance. So really what you're saying is if you get an SSD upgrade, then this one here is better than what you had before. Or what you what you actually ordered. But of course SSDs aren't free. They're not extremely ex expensive or anything, but they're not free either. And you'd have to go through the hassle of reinstalling Windows onto the SSD and all that. So that's a bit of an issue. <laughs> noodle with the, the the eyes there i also have a dude who can help me with this so hey that's awesome okay okay yeah i mean i i would i would consider doing that then personally grabbing an ssd just upgrading this machine with that and then transferring windows over to the ssd because i mean if it's a fourth gen instead of third gen that's a pretty big bump right there assuming they're compare compatible uh comparable <laughs> on the product stack like, if they were both Ryzen 5s or whatever. Um, 16 gigs of RAM. That's not bad at all, man. 500 gigs of space. Well, 464, really, but that's normal. Yeah, yeah, that's completely normal. Because, like, uh, so, like, hard drive gigabytes aren't computer gigabytes is why that happens. So, 500 gigs is always going to be something lower, as reported by Windows. And then, uh... Of course, you have, like, system files and stuff, too, and, and, like, recovery partitions and all that kind of shit that's eating up space from Windows. So, yeah, like... Can I have your autograph? Of course. We are a famous sports ball player. I forget uh, what the sports ball is called. It's been a long time since I've actually played. Um, 
this Final Fantasy game, and this is one of the many that I've never finished. Um, I played it some. I don't remember exactly how far I've gotten. I really liked it outside of the sports ball stuff, but I, uh, yeah, never finished it. I know a fair bit of the story, though. I do know, I do know a fair bit of that. Man, I've also been, uh, finally catching up on Attack on Titan. That's what I've been doing in my, uh, spare time. I watched the, uh, the OADs or ODAs, whatever the hell they're called. And then, uh, just started the final season today. So we got a celebrity. Kinda, yep. <laughs> a Playboy celebrity, apparently. Can you sign this? Of no course. Problem. Child, I will sign your ball for you. All I will right. sign all of the balls. Me too! Take it easy. Every time I talk, my ear tickles. It's kind of weird. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's up with that. Well, but it, it feels hella Keep weird, though. Two, three. <laughs> Teach us how to blitz. blitz ball, that's what it's hey, called. I got a game to play. There we go. Then teach us after. Maybe tonight, um... You do sound a little different today? Like I said, my, my throat's just been hurting, and... Like, not hurting, but I, it's like burning a little bit from coughing and coughing up Thomas. stuff. And then, uh, yeah, it's just not having a good time right now. <laughs> Mr. Noodle has been falling for 479 days. Holy shit. Well, thank you, Noodle. I don't know when the, uh, when that add-on started telling me that stuff. But, <laughs> but that's pretty cool. Show your follow age too by collect clicking celebrate below. Oh, you can celebrate. That's neat. You spent 25 bits on that? I didn't know that was a thing. That's pretty neat. That's cool. Kind of sad it didn't pop up on screen though. Kind of cult shit was that move? Sorry, hold on. I was in a coffee shop running away from home when I heard the news. Our hero, checked, gone, vanished into thin air. Oh, my lord. My dad must have been his biggest fan. Uh, I knew how sad he'd be. Heck, we all were that day. What so kind of cult shit was that movie? Yeah, I don't... <laughs> I went running straight back home. We sat up talking about Jack all night. My dad and I never talked so much. Whoa. Didn't mean to reminisce, folks. Anyway... Ten years later, the Jack Memorial Cup tournament is today. The two teams that have won through to the finals are, of course, the Abes from A East and the Duggles from C South. I admit my this display is also funky. You're using a DVI to HDMI Apes. connector converter. No TV is a monitor, so it's stretched, but I can player. see. Also, this keyboard is stiff as fuck. Oh, Lord. I mean, DVI to HDMI doesn't have to be all that bad, though. Like, um, because DVI supports 1080p. So you can still have it be, you can still have it be 1080p at least, which is, you know, more than good enough for, for most displays. Or 720, depending on what kind of old TV you're using. And the keyboard, I mean, you can get a decent keyboard for like 20 bucks on Amazon or at Walmart or something like that. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. And honestly, like, I'm the type of person that thinks as far as peripherals go, you can make do with just about anything. Like, I, for a long, long time, used just, you know, the Walmart special for keyboard and mouse, and it was perfectly passable. Like, <laughs> it's the screen size, really. Like, the tabs on top of the writing is kind of cut off. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, um, it's probably overscan. I don't know if your TV has a setting to change that or not. Um... But yeah, you're it's probably misinterpreting whether it needs to be using overscan or not. <clears throat> which is causing it to uh cut off the, the top, bottom, and sides and whatnot. Is that what you're saying? Yes, everybody cheer for me. <clears throat> No idea. I actually need to get a remote for the TV, too, because messing with the buttons is a pain in the ass. I feel you 100% there, man. 
That is a giant pain in the ass. On damn near every TV and monitor for that that matter. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> Yes, this intro, uh, I, like I said, I've played the game a couple times and never gone that far, but this intro always gets stuck in my head, man, because, like, it's a pretty solid intro to an RPG game. <laughs> Deck that dude out of the sphere, man. Oh shit, what are you oh shitting? <clears throat> How the fuck are they breathing magic, man? <laughs> That's all it is, just magic. And yeah, then shit got fucked up. <laughs> like I said, pretty pretty decent intro, intro to a uh, to an RPG game, man. You know, a lot of RPGs start out extremely slow, and this here has a bit of a slow start, like right in the beginning. But then just like suddenly, holy shit, you know, metal music, stuff exploding, this whole like coliseum collapsing, like it's pretty cool. How dare I? Wait, what'd I do? Why am I being oh dared? What'd I miss? Did I do something? <laughs> I'm gonna go flip the trash can around if I don't come back. I've been kidnapped. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna get kidnapped from right in front of our house, love. <laughs> you know what you did? I don't know. What'd I do? Did I... I honestly don't know what I did. I'm so sorry. Oh! Oh! <laughs> you must not have been here. Oh. <clears throat> you must not have been here when I said that. I said, uh, every time y'all redeem that, I'm gonna raise it just a little bit more. <laughs> Them's the rules now. I'm never gonna take it away entirely, but it's always just gonna go up in price a little bit. Every time. How dare I? <laughs> You never know, said Noodle. I, I'm like 99% sure you're gonna be okay, love. If not, I know how loud you can be. Just just hey, yell really loud. Like... <laughs> Until what limit? What limit? There's a limit? <laughs> oh. oh boy. Something I do want to do at some point uh, is we can do like uh, take bets and stuff. So that y'all can earn earn more points or or lose points, you know, depending on how it goes. I'm pretty sure mods are eligible to join that. I hope they are because I mean I've like I've modded pretty much all of you guys. <laughs> like, <laughs> so if not, that would be kind of lame. But hopefully, hopefully, yeah. I'm not loud. Yeah, I mean you're pretty loud, Noodle. I love you to death. You're pretty loud. You're not just going to increase it until it costs, like, one with a bunch of zeros after it. I can't figure out that number at the moment. <laughs> Please don't be eggs. They're, I mean, not necessarily eggs. They were kind of like eggs. Also, Nate, you still around, man? I haven't heard from you a bit. If you're still around, I'm curious if you've seen uh, the newest season of Attack on Titan. Or if you even watch Attack on Titan. I, th I think you do, but... I don't want to give spoilers to anybody, but the new, uh, 
the new, uh, the, I say new, but the latest season of it's kind of throwing me for a loop right now. I'm so confused. So freaking confused. Seriously, you need a cap on the point spread? <laughs> I'll put a cap on it somewhere. I, I haven't, like, put that much thought into it, though. So at this point, it's just traditional JRPG stuff, man. The combat system's not that much different from other uh, Final Fantasy games here. The only real difference is the fact that it shows us the turn order over on the, the right-hand side. As far as I would rem I, what I remember, there may be other like changes. And the level-up system in this game is a fair bit different than, than other Final Fantasy games. But, but yeah. <clears throat> This is one of those games that I really, really do want to finish. But I don't know if it's worth doing it on the PS2 whenever there's the new, like, HD versions of it out there. Like, why, you know? <laughs> like, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the PS2 version. And if that's what you have available to you, I think it's an excellent thing to play. But if you have the HD versions, then why wouldn't you play that, you know? It's just the same game, but better. This computer is so much faster, and I love it. That's Honestly, that's awesome. I'm really glad you spent that money on yourself, Vim. You deserve something nice, Rue. Also, I'm curious, for anybody who knows Final Fantasy X out there, do you call it Titus or Titus? I've always been a Titus person, but I've heard some people call him Titus. And I'm sure there is a correct pronunciation, but I don't know which one it is. Like, <laughs> just got done at a Magic tournament. Oh, did they have more the the release today or something like that? When a character's overdrive gauge beneath the HP MP display is full, that character may use a special unique attack one time. Press left in the command menu to use an overdrive. But Bushido, let's go attack everything, boy. I'm glad I looked away from chat long enough to see that I had to type in stuff, because <laughs> I totally would have completely screwed that up. Like, I thought... I must be thinking of a different section. I thought we could attack something other than just the monster here. No buffer so far while you're typing? That's awesome, man. Today was a draft tournament. Ooh, very cool. That sounds fun, man. I need to, uh... Oh, jeez. I need to make a magic deck at some point so I can play with y'all. It'll probably be more like a unlimited format than, than whatever the official current format is. Just because I don't know how many uh, modern cards y'all gave me. But yeah. Or, hear me out. Y'all just get Pokemon. <laughs> I'll play the hell out of some Pokemon uh, TCG with y'all. Just keep attacking. We don't need to heal. I could have swore we could attack something else. But, I don't know. You have several Pokemon cards, my dear. I absolutely love the Pokemon TCG. Megan, uh, Mr. Noodle, and myself. We both uh, play the hell out of the... Well, we haven't played much recently. We used to play it a lot. But these days, uh, we don't have that much time to play. But we still collect the cards. No official decks, but lots of cards. I only have one. I used to have a couple decks put together. But right now, I only have one deck. I do want to put another one together. Because my main deck has a lot of the uh, like Pokemon EX, GX sort of cards. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um... And uh, my brother, he has a card. I forget which one it was. But it has the ability to... Uh, that, like, it can't be damaged by any EXGX card. And so, like, it really cramps my style. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I always... I planned on making another deck with uh, only, like, maybe one in there. Just as, like, a main attacker. But I, I never got around to it. So... Someday, though... <clears throat> I want to uh, have a gaming tournament on the channel here every once in a while, too. 
and that's one of the games that I plan on including in it is like the the online TCG maybe or uh, or uh, like Pokemon battles I forget the name of the website but the website that lets you do your own Pokemon battles where you can just like pick anything maybe we'll do like draft style stuff or something like that I think that'd be fun as long as you don't limit me on what I can use I can make a few though I even have a second gen Dragonite card yeah see I don't I, I play unlimited um, as long as you're not using game breaking uh, strategies because there are a few of them in the unlimited format um, where you can like there's like turn one win cheese and shit like that as long as people don't do anything like that I'm, I'm, I prefer unlimited like so who is this Aron? he's like a, our uh, bodyguard sort of is kind of what you would know him as right now that's what you'd usually play at home games and fraternities you go to sealed mainly that way you don't have to worry about the cards that are provided and the other let me attack the thing the thing to the left that's or to the right i know my left and right uh the other magic guy probably won't play pokemon but i'm slowly getting to one yeah i mean that's fair if i i can't expect anybody to really play two tcgs seriously like <laughs> as much as i i love pokemon and would prefer pokemon like it's Pokemon. trading card games are a huge money sink so like <laughs> this could be bad also, what is the strategy you speak of? You don't just say, boom, I use this. <laughs> I forget, uh, like, one of the ones that I remember being popular was, uh, I don't remember the name of the card, but there was a card that would let you evolve turn one. So you, it, it, you would get the, the Mon, you would play that, you would use the other card to evolve at turn one, and the other card had some sort of ability that like i don't remember what it did but essentially it was just turn one win like and it, it used the fact that if the uh other player has no pokemon left on the the bench or in play <clears throat> then uh then you win and it just exploited that fact and yeah it was it was some major cheesy shit but it was a thing <clears throat> And, uh, obviously I don't want to, like, deal with that whenever I play <laughs> Pokemon or any TCG, really. Jesus. Kind of shitty. It just ruins the fun for everyone. I really liked the, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG, too, there for quite a while. <clears throat> but Noodle never really got into that one. So I played, uh, a lot more Pokemon since she enjoys that. I'm actually more surprised you know what that game is, Rue. I've only ever met, like, two other people that know what that game is. <laughs> the TCG for Game Boy Color. I, uh, when I was younger, like, young teenager or whatever, I really wanted that game. And, uh, we called up GameStop, me and my grandpa, and they, GameStop employees, swore up and down that it didn't exist. And I was like, it definitely does. Like, I, my, a guy that I knew had it and i played it a little bit like it's definitely a real game i'm not crazy but for like years nobody knew what it was i couldn't find it anywhere so then my grandpa got into uh ebay like buying stuff on ebay it was actually a bit of a problem he would he would waste way too much money on on coins and stuff there but anyways point is he ended up finding that game for me on there and bought it for me i really really wish i still had it but like i said before uh all of my my stuff basically was lost in that house fire I had forever ago. So, yeah, <clears throat> sucks. Addiction, kinda. Like it, I wouldn't say it was quite that bad, but like there was definitely some financial trouble. Bills ended up getting paid and stuff at least, but uh, he 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 sunk way more money than he probably should have in it. But. To be fair to the guy, like, he was disabled, he didn't have a whole lot going for him, and I mean, he was also depressed and dealt with anxiety and stuff, you know, the same as, as we do, and it can be very easy hey. to find comfort in collecting things. I mean, hey. you're talking to a dude that collects video games, you know, like, <laughs> the only thing that keeps my video game collecting in, in check is that uh, I give myself a, a, a noodle an allowance that we can spend on whatever we want. Um, so, yeah, if it weren't for that, then, like, 
I, I could end up in the same spot that my grandpa was with his coin collecting. I, I could see that totally happening. You don't trust Auron? He doesn't seem that bad. He's alright. <laughs> He's a little bit weird. You know, this is all a little bit vague, but... Ouch, mood from middle school. I feel you there, man. I don't remember what to do here. Circle, go down. Okay, I'm going down. Sugar, we're going down swinging. There we are. Hi, kid. I thought about a lot of things. Like where I was, what I got myself into. I started to feel lightheaded and then sleepy. I think I had a dream. A dream of being alone. I wanted someone, anyone beside <clears throat> me, so I didn't have to feel alone anymore. Hey, thank you for the bits, Mr. Noodle. I appreciate it, love. Sounds like us all. We all want love, bro. All too true. <laughs> it's cold out? Yeah, no shit, man. If you're, uh, not- if you haven't started driving yet, if you're not already home, be careful of the- the potential for ice. So obviously we've been getting a lot of rain, a lot of snow melting and shit, and then all of a sudden it gets down to like 20 degrees or whatever the hell it is. Like, <laughs> it's kind of weird that I can walk around without being able to actually see myself <laughs> or swim around, whatever. Close enough. So, like, it's been so long since I've played this game, I'm struggling to remember much. I know that we're going to end up on a ship soon. <laughs> I remember that much. And uh, I remember a little bit about this building we're getting ready to go into, but I don't remember exactly. Also, this here is a, I forget the name of the language, Al, Al Bed or something like that. Um, and, uh, like, you can learn what it what it says there's different things you can uh there's different ways to to decipher it like in game like things you can find or something that lets you decipher it in game but people have also made tools a friend of mine for instance made a tool where you can type in whatever it says and it'll give you the the translation of it and stuff like that um I'm not going to worry about all of that, and, and at least right now while I'm playing. And if we end up doing a full playthrough of the PS2 version, uh, instead of me just doing the, whatchamacallit, the, the HD version on my own, then, uh, yeah, I don't know if we'll worry about it then or not. But <laughs> Albed Primers, that's what it's called, to help you decipher the strange Albed language. Uh, that's a thing that it says right below it. <laughs> Scanning memory card for primers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't have any, so, like, you can scan, but it's not gonna do shit for me. Kinda reminds you of Dwarvish, yeah, I can see, uh, that comparison. You are driving, you saw flash frozen bushes and mailboxes, yeah, that sounds about right, man. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I didn't know it was quite that cold out to, for stuff to be, like, flash freezing, but, uh, I mean, yeah. I knew it was freaking cold, though, so. I'm not overly surprised to hear that, either. Other than possibly getting COVID tests tomorrow, my plan is to just not leave my house. So, <laughs> I don't have to be out in that. I like the snow and I prefer the cold to the heat, but I would rather just have like a nice middle ground, you know? <laughs> not too cold, not too hot, if, if, if you please. Ugh. <clears throat> All right, so, I mean, yeah, it looked awesome. It was only one spot, and it was close to water. I mean, right now, everything's close to water <laughs> with all of the, the snow melting and, and uh, the rain that we've been getting recently. Uh, everything's just water, man. <laughs> My driveway is pure mud. 
I want to buy a load of gravel or something and have them dump it out there because it's it's like ridiculous right now. And I've seen some pictures of different places uh, that are like actually flooded, which is just <laughs> ridiculous. It's, it's like it's well below freezing outside, and we're dealing with flooding issues. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> uh, you mean like a body of water? I, okay, I get you. I get you. Uh, but, uh, I mean, hey, some of our roads right now, you could call a body of water. <laughs> that was what I was getting to. I, I knew what you meant, but that's what I was joking about. <laughs> uh, scary fish. My uh, randomizer tool that I used to to pick what games to play actually technically didn't pick this game. It picked uh, Final Fantasy X-2, but what I decided to do forever ago with that tool is anytime it picks a sequel to a game, we'll just play the first one in that series first and then kind of do them in order that way. Um, but Final Fantasy X-2 is one that I've never played. Both because one, I never finished Final Fantasy X uh, here. That's that's the biggest reason, but also I've always been a little iffy about Ten Two, because it it just looks very fan servicey, you know. Um. So I never like I, I never really gave it a, a fair shot either. <laughs> I have no idea how how if I would end up liking it or not. I've heard it's pretty good of a game, but yeah, it just it seems fan servicey, man. So I, I was always a little put off by that, but. We're gonna play it soon, though. Daggummit. <laughs> also, big dude, scary dude. Uh, How much damage did he just do to us? Did he just do like 200 some HP damage to me? I wasn't paying that much attention, but uh, I'm a little bit worried. Yep, 230. Wait, is he just doing half of our health and damage constantly maybe he's just doing half our health and damage maybe this might be a scripted battle i don't remember it's been a long time it looked super awesome if you want to been going 50 you would have took a pick i don't know exactly what road you're talking about were you on the highway at least going 50 or were you going 50 on the back streets because like now is not a good time to be going 50 on the back streets boy <laughs> Fan service is great. Uh, I mean, not whenever it's, like, meant to be canon. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I don't know, man. It's like in an anime or something. If you have, like, one or two episodes dotted about here or there, that, that's, that's fan service -y. That's one thing. But a whole video game of fan service, that's a little bit much, you know? <laughs> But no, like I said, I have actually heard that Final Fantasy X-2 is a pretty good game. And, uh... And, uh... Like, the story's decent enough. So, like, I do definitely want to play it, but... Yeah. Not if they overdo it, too. <laughs> like, come on, make them at least realistic. Yeah, exactly. Games like Honey Pop? I wouldn't even call Honey Pop fan service. That's just a porn game. Like... <laughs> That's what Honey Pop is, dude. You're going 50 and a 45 is before it got super cold. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I guess we'll give you a pass this time. <laughs> I mean, fair. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've never actually played Honey Pop. The only reason I even know what that game is is because uh, Jesse Cox played it on YouTube. <laughs> I watched him play it a bit. And uh, yeah, that was <laughs> that was interesting. Obviously, he had to play the, uh, it was either a censored version or he censored himself, I don't remember, but yeah. Honestly, not a bad game. I don't remember a whole lot about it, though. Isn't it like one of those match three games or something like that, though? At least they have a female version avatar. You mean like you can play a female or a male? Is that what you mean? Like I said, I don't know the game that well, so... 
The remains of a campfire. With flint and tinder, you could start another fire here. Some withered flowers have been left here. They have soaked up too much rainwater to serve as tinder. Trash. Uh... Okay, oh, I don't know if I really want to go through this door. This is the door we just came from anyways. Yeah, no, that's useless. Let's not do that. It's kind of like Bejeweled, but with a story. That's what I thought. So I couldn't re remember for sure, having uh, only seen a little bit of footage of it, but I thought that's more or less what it was. Bejeweled and stuff like that, I, I don't really have anything against those style of games, but they're not my favorite either, you know? I prefer uh, something a little more engaging. I, I'm just not a big, like, mobile game type of person. And Bejeweled and games like that are, are very well suited to mobile games, so... Yeah. But, I mean, hey. I'm not gonna hold it against anybody that does enjoy them, though. There's a game called Magi Trials that was an adult version. Got edited and put on Switch. That sounds familiar for some reason. Magi Trials. I don't remember why it sounds familiar, but it does sound super familiar. Withered bouquet. Cool, cool. I'm guessing that's what we're going to use as our tinder. That's fair. I'm, if I'm doing a mobile game, it's going to be in... What is that? Ultimate? I uh, probably should know what that is, but I don't know what that is. Oh, adult visual novel got edited and put on Switch. My bad. Version, visual novel, whatever. Close enough. <laughs> That's, uh... Visual novels are another genre of game that I never really got that into. Again, nothing against them at all. Uh, obviously, I love manga and, and anime and whatnot, and that's like an, an extension of those, almost, you know, but uh, playable in a sense. So nothing against them, but never really got into them. Basically a game where you choose who you want to date in various settings. It's mostly for women. Oh, uh, had a full boyfriend? Like, <laughs> the bird dating simulator? Sim oh. Words. Simulator? Simulation thing? Whatever the hell. Words are words are hard, but... Why why no examine? I'm pressing the examine button right now. It's doing nothing, so... <laughs> uh, config. Do we need to change anything? Subtitles are automatically on. Really appreciate that, man. Honestly. Uh, turn vibrations on. Why wouldn't you want... I know there are some people that don't like vibrations in video games. I don't understand, uh, I don't understand why, but, like, why wouldn't you want your controller to vibrate at you every time something happens? I'm totally for that. Basically, the game where you choose, oh, wait, I read that one. Dating Sims, yeah. Look up, uh, Ikemen Sengoku, and that's a perfect example. <laughs> that one's just, like meme as hell with the, the, the bird dating thing, and that's why I always remember that one. I have seen a couple more of them, so I do vaguely know what you're talking about, but... Yeah. <laughs> Plus, uh, every time I bring up the podcast at, at work and I'm trying to think of games to play, <clears throat> Had a Full Boyfriend is one that gets brought up by one of the guys that works there, like, every time. Just for the memes. Like, he, he... There's no other reason he wants to see it on the channel. He just, uh... He thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> I need food. Speaking of the podcast, I haven't heard from uh, my, my co-host since this morning. He was having some trouble with some files. I hope he's uh, figured everything out. What do you want? If he hasn't messaged me yet by the end of the stream, I'll have to uh, message him again, see what he says. Lost because of you. you came to say that. It's been ten years. One in the same, Nate. One in the same. You'd be crying. Who? Me? The meme lord himself. You cry. Rugman. <laughs> That reminds me of my sweet bodyguard. You had to pay for each chapter, but honestly, great Otome. They basically had all the troops. My sweet bodyguard. I mean, uh, I am i don't think there's anything wrong, personally, with, like, pay-by-the-chapter-style games. Uh, Telltale did that, obviously, and I love Telltale games. 
Um, which again is another reason why I think I wouldn't be that. I would. Uh, why I think I would enjoy uh, visual novels and stuff like that if I ever really gave them a chance. Because it, it, it's not that far off from a, a Telltale game, you know. A little bit more like actual gameplay in Telltale games, I guess. But at the same time, it's like. It's still basically just a story that you're that you're making decisions for and going through and whatnot. So like it's the same base of a game. Seems like an idea he'd uh, had. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> yep, that's Rugman, all right. Okay, for real, who's the kid though? I uh, I don't remember honestly. <laughs> I don't I don't remember if I ever got far enough to find out, and I don't remember if I forgot if I did find out. <laughs> so <laughs> like. <laughs> the problem with having a shit memory, man. <laughs> I don't know. They're fine. It's like, choose your own adventure. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, I I'm pretty sure I'd be all for them if I gave them a chance, but I guess uh, just none of them have caught my eye that much. Although I did play uh, this one game. It's not necessarily a visual novel. It was like an AOL uh, chat simulation game. Uh, Ellie, Ellie is alone. Ellie's... I, I don't remember the name of it, but, uh, fun game, heartfelt, you know, cry every time, all that stuff, like, <laughs> but no, honestly, like it, Emily is away, that's the one, yeah, yeah, that, that's the one, a lot of feels in that one, man, pretty good game, though, and it's only, like, what, a half hour or something like that, if I remember, I haven't played the second one yet, Emily is away, too, I have it downloaded on my, on my computer, but I've never gotten around to playing it. Randall, when did you leave Monsters, Inc.? Oh my god, I never would have... <laughs> I never would have thought that. It did... Just a little bit. A little bit. Randall on, uh, on, on drugs over here, on steroids. Like, certain items like grenades have special effects when used. These items can only be used during battle by selecting the special ability use. Special. Use. Grenade. Throw. Wow. Big boom. Terrible outfits. I don't mind Titus's all that much, but I always thought hers was a little bit weird. Um, person whose name I've completely forgotten. I've always thought it, it looked a bit weird, but, uh, you know. Who am I to judge, I guess? I guess they would probably think my outfits are pretty weird, too. <laughs> uh, not steal again. Grenade. Titus's outfit is okay? Yeah. Such wow. Uh, what are we such wowing? <laughs> the terrible outfit, is that what we're such wowing? <coughs> uh, I just don't want to cough, man. I hate whenever, like, you cough so much that your chest starts to hurt. That's the, I'm just now getting to that point, And uh, I hope it doesn't continue, because I, I'd rather not. The grenade? Yeah, 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 okay. I got you. Such wow. Pretty explosion, big boom. That was close. <laughs> Let me go. Save my life and then drag me out by my hair and uh and point your guns at me. Awesome. To be these voice actors, man. Translations needed? Yeah. Well, that was one of the fun things with the game, right? If you replayed it, you would uh, learn more and more about what was going on. Because as you collect the Albed ciphers and save them to your memory card, uh, you can scan that to translate it for the next playthrough. And then you find more. And then, yeah, eventually you know everything that's being said. Because you can find... There's guides online that just list everything. And then there's also, like, tools you can use to uh, to do the translations for you, but... Yeah. So dramatic to have to remove the goggles. I'm being semi-responsible. You actually got lactose-free milk. Still got regular ice cream, though. I'm, uh, fairly lucky. Like, I, I don't drink much milk, so... I don't know, like, if I chug down a glass of it how it would feel. But I'm if I eat pizza or ice cream or, or yogurt or whatever, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with the lactose. Um, although there was a very short period in time when I was a preteen where I couldn't drink milk without getting almost violently ill. Like, <laughs> everybody thought I was going to end up being lactose intolerant, 
And to the best of my mother's memory, my dad was lactose intolerant, so we just kind of assumed that's what was going to happen. But then after, like, a few months to a year, I don't remember exactly how long, I, uh, I grew out of it. So, like, it just kind of stopped, man. Right, whatever. I think he's telling us uh, we're going to swim with the fishes. <laughs> I said I don't understand. Noodle does love milk. It's ridiculous. She drinks giant glasses of it at a time. You can stay if you make yourself useful. You, you understand me? All right, I'll work. Yum, not yum. Milk is gross. <laughs> Milk's not even, like, good for you, man. I was just, uh, I did the math just, like, the other day. Uh, last night or the night before or whatever, and I was telling Noodle, like, if you drink one tall glass of milk, that's the same as just, like, taking a tablespoon and a half of butter and uh, rinsing it down with a glass of water. Like, that that's basically what you're doing. Like, how is that appetizing? Like, <laughs> I don't I don't get that. I don't get it. Secrets of the Albed language are revealed. Y to A. Tyson says, she's the rank of Albed word I cannot pronounce. <laughs> What's this? You're having cookies, so you gotta have milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's fair. That's fair. I, um, uh, I, I prefer nut milks and stuff like that, though. Well, these assholes stop it. I'm losing patience. I'm not even the one getting beat up. Yeah, they're a little rude. <laughs> just, just a wee bit. Yeah, I, uh, cashew milk's, like, flavor and texture-wise, probably my favorite of the nut milks. But, uh, almond milk's easier to get a hold of, so that's what I usually end up drinking. And then I've heard a lot of really good things about oat milk apparently being really good, but it's so high in carbs that I've never personally tried it. I know, uh, Noodle really likes oat milk, though. I don't like coconut milk. That's one nut milk I won't, I don't drink. Helkla. Help, low rude. Are you starting to speak out, Ben? <laughs> sphere grid is used to develop your characters by activating nodes with the spheres. Let's see how this is done. Yay, we get a leveling up tutorial, guys. Speaking of such, wow. Select sphere grid from the main menu. The cursor appears at the selected character's current position. Use arrow keys to move the cursor. Information on the upgrades is displayed at top. This location is for defense upgrades. Dispense. Uh, defense. <laughs> And this one lets you learn an ability. These upgrade locations are called nodes. Activate these nodes to upgrade your character. A character must be on or adjacent to a node in order to activate it. Let's go through this step by step. If you press X, holy shit, man, come on. Peanut butter chocolate chip cookies, you haven't really given any of those a try, plus I may be allergic to almond. Well, I mean, yeah, obviously if you're allergic to nuts, you shouldn't drink nut milk, but, <laughs> but I really like nut milk though. It's delicious. It's, uh, in my opinion, much better for you than milk. And it uh, has none of those nasty lactose uh, sugars in it. So coconut is milk is good in things. I don't know. I, I don't know if I ever really tried it and stuff. Coconut milk is great for curry, though. That's what I've heard. Coconut milk and the uh, the coconut fat. Man, now I really need food. Noodle and I got uh, Papa John's today, so that's what we've been eating. <laughs> uh, okay, so move. If you select move, you can move. The number of steps the characters can move is displayed. The number of steps the character can move is equivalent to a sphere level S level. Sphere levels are gained by getting ability points, which are obtained by participating in battles. You fight shit, kill shit, you get stronger. Got it. A character must fight battles to gain AP and raise sphere levels in order to move through the grid. In short, the character does not participate in battles, he will not grow stronger. Like every RPG ever, except for Pokemon, because, you know... In this case, Titus has four sphere levels, so he can move up to four steps. In general, you should be careful not to rush or you may forget to activate nodes. So let's take one step and learn the ability Cheer. Note that you only have to be next to a node in order to activate it. Once you select a destination, you automatically spend the required number of sphere levels and the character moves. When the character arrives at the designated spot, you'll be asked to confirm the move. Confirm by selecting yes. At this point, the movement process is complete and cannot be cancelled. If you want to activate nodes you passed over, you must spend spear levels to go back. When you're retracting your steps, yeah, whatever, you can move four steps by expending one sphere level. However, backtracking every time is not very cost efficient, so plan ahead to avoid wasting sphere levels. Okay, this is one of the big differences, if I remember correctly, between the HD version and this version. 
Um, <clears throat> if I remember correctly, the HD version has a more open sphere grid, so you can you can level up your characters in more unique ways. If I remember correctly, but I could be I could be misremembering stuff. <clears throat> That's just one of the reasons you haven't really tried nut milk, Nate. I mean, again, fair, yeah. If you're allergic to nuts, don't try nut milk. <laughs> no fair, says Rue. <laughs> so wait, is this a skill tree or a fucking map? Both at the same time. <laughs> yep, it's everything. Now that the character is in place, let's activate a node. To activate nodes, we must use spheres. Spheres can be obtained by various means, such as by defeating enemies. Press X. Fuck me, game. Come on. Unless the spheres currently in stock is displayed. Every sphere has a special function. For example, power spheres are used to activate strength, defense, and HP nodes. Yup, that's how that works. Ability spheres activate ability nodes. Abilities that can be activated are the node at the character's current position and nodes one step away. This means nodes immediately ahead of or behind the current position can also be activated. In this example, the only node that can be activated is the ability node, so you need to use an ability sphere. When you select a sphere, the nodes that sphere can activate at the current position are highlighted. Selecting an ability sphere highlights the one adjacent ability node. When you select the node you wish to activate, the node will light up and the character will learn its ability. Note that one ability sphere was used during this process. You mean if the game fucked me? I mean, maybe. You don't know what I'm into. Don't kink shame. Uh, <laughs> the node will light up and the character will learn its ability. Note that one ability sphere was used during this process. Use the same procedure to improve the character's strength, magic, max HP, and MP. Power spheres, magic spheres, and speed spheres are needed to improve each corresponding attribute. Also, every node on the grid can be activated separately by each character. This means that a character can reactivate a node already used by another character by moving it to and using the corresponding sphere. Note that locks cannot be opened at present. Another tutorial will become available once you are able to open them. Oh, thank god for the tutorial, man. Now that you know how to upgrade your characters, let's look at the other useful seizures on the fear grid. Character's current status can be displayed by pressing triangle. Woo. Uh... Use this information to plan how you wish to upgrade your characters. Press L1 and R1. Yep, that switches between people. <laughs> That's what that does. Not shaming, just a simple observation. Discs are somewhat sharp. Oh no, I was going to put it in the case first. I'm not some sort of heathen. Like, <laughs> This is useful when you wish to compare the character's stats or when you wish to quickly upgrade multiple characters. Press select to zoom in and out for a better view of the grid. Ah, uh, look at that. Yeah, no, it's a giant fucking map room. <laughs> this concludes the Sphere Grid tutorial. Try improving Titus now. You mean I can play the game? Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, so we got the Sphere Grid for Titus, Titus, Titties. That's your name now, Titties. Um, okay, so if we were to go, so we want to move, and we can't go any farther because our, our, our Sphere level is only one, so we can only move to here. And then we can say, proceed, yes. And then we can say, use a sphere grid thingy. And we can use an ability sphere. And that will unlock that, which lets us get the cheer ability. Oh my god, guys, we can cheer now. Isn't that amazing? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so what, what is available to us? Defense, strength. I'm sure there's like some, some really good reasons to not unlock everything in order, but I'm probably just gonna unlock everything in order. To be honest with you as long as we can unlock everything in order like there will be certain things that we won't be able to do for for one reason or another but yeah but yeah i mean i i don't know if y'all saw but like it's 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 pretty big man and then uh this person whose name i've definitely forgotten you already have the use and steal abilities um so, what is this? You have no S level, so it doesn't really matter. We can't do anything with you. Okay. Overdrive, they have nothing, it looks like. And we have Spiral Cut. Set mode? Stoic? I don't remember what that does. Ah, I'm sure we'll figure that out eventually. Tis fine. Found some ancient ruins right beneath us. Not Let's go. Change ruins for the win. We're gonna go down there and activate it. Holy shit, it's been Maybe an hour. Be able to salvage the big prize. Uh -huh. Okay, let's get to work. Roger. Honestly, I had no idea that it's been an hour already. Once we get into the water here, we're gonna take a short break. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
such wow. Big ocean. Okay. <laughs> On that note, yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna stand up and stretch, maybe take a uh, small drink, and uh, I also kind of have to use the bathroom, so probably gonna be like a three minute break, and then we'll be right back, guys. Don't worry, no one's gonna miss anything while the ad plays out. One of the, uh, one of the burner knobs, man, and it turned it on. And we didn't know it turned it on until I started to smell something. I was like, oh, but the heater just kicked on. It's probably just burning some dust or something. And then I turn around a minute later and all of a sudden there's just smoke pouring out of the or off of the stove. So I hurry up and grab the foodie and pull it off the burner. Oh, man, it, it was nasty. Yeah, yeah, the bottom of our Ninja foodie got a little bit melted in the process, too. The whole house smells like burnt rubber. It's magnificent. <laughs> But the foodie still works, thankfully. I melted it uh, with my heat gun to get it to sit flat again. Like, took the piece off that melted and got it to lay flat. Checked the wiring inside of it. Everything looks fine. So, thankfully, the foodie's fine. I cleaned the stove with the razor blades. So everything's okay, but yeah. <laughs> no, it was definitely her fault. Definitely Mr. Noodle's fault. I mean, she didn't really have anything to do with it. But, you know, she was there. So... <laughs> And she's the clumsy one in the relationship, so I'm blaming her for sure. <laughs> I love you, Mr. Noodle. Just playing with you. It's not your fault, I know. I'm just glad everything ended up being okay. Didn't even get the foodie out. Yeah. You were at work? <laughs> Not when all this happened. You were there when all this happened. You were actually standing right next to the stove. I don't know how you didn't smell it. Because it was pouring smoke, man, whenever I turned around. Yeah, it all ended up being okay at the end of the day, so whatever. <laughs> Just... Do you think it's okay to barge in? Oh, that's terrible, man. I had something similar happen. A roommate of mine, once upon a time, left the stove on without the gas lit. And I came home and just the house smelled like gas so bad, man. Yep, I had it too. Mm -hmm. I had the exact same feeling. Gorge, maybe it's contagious. All right. That way, to the door. <laughs> Are you scared? Yeah, you wouldn't know a cookie sheet could burn, but, uh, <laughs> they can definitely burn. <laughs> Sora! Just so everyone is aware, Mr. Noodle got their hugs. <laughs> I feel like that was a uh, important thing to note. <laughs> Okay. I probably should have saved after that tutorial, just on the off chance that we die. I'd really rather not have to uh, do that again. Although now that we definitely all know what we're doing, we can uh, maybe skip through it a little bit faster if we have to do it again. But uh, fingers crossed we just won't die. Just gotta be god gamers over here, man. <laughs> not that this game's particularly hard in the beginning or anything. I mean, most Final Fantasy games aren't all that hard, especially in the beginning. Uh, I mean, can we steal anything from the fish? Uh, more grenades. Okay, well, that's... I don't know why fish are carrying around <laughs> grenades, but, uh... <laughs> but, hey. I, it makes sense, I guess, you know? I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I've definitely, like, been fishing before, pulled up a fish. And I'm just like, man, this fish is heavy as hell. You know, what the heck? And then, uh, like... Turns out there's just a grenade inside it. That's perfectly normal, right? 
<laughs> Could you imagine if that actually happened? <laughs> like you just pull a fish out of the river or ocean or wherever lake where wherever you're uh you're fishing at. Take it home, get ready to eat it, and uh there's just a freaking grenade inside of it. I'd be so mad, man. Ooh, pretty lights. Shiny red lights. Yeah, just just beat the computer. I'm sure that's how you'll make it work. This computer that's underwater. <laughs> Also, that looked like a save sphere. I was trying to save up there, but, like, it didn't seem to want to let me. Maybe, uh... Nope. Okay, I can't I can't seem to go up. I can just return to ship. I, it's not that I'm trying to return to ship. I'm just trying to... Okay, game. That's fine, too, I guess. <laughs> I guess we're not allowed to go up there. Just get good, says Nate. Yeah. I'm so mad at this computer. I'm gonna hit it. What's it doing? I thought you were liking the new computer. What happened, Room? Why is the computer being bad? Uh, I'm sorry. I can't help it. I have to steal things in video games constantly. I can't remember. In this game, can you... Uh, can you steal more than once? I can't remember. I know most Final Fantasy games you can't, but... No, okay. Couldn't steal anything. Got it. Ah, uh, Overdrive. Let's go. No Titus. As uh, uh, Aslan? Aslan is my new computer, by the way. I kind of figured, but, <laughs> but I was still a little... Uh, just a wee bit confused for a moment, though. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm so mad at this computer. I'm going to hit it. That, yeah, that makes more sense now. <laughs> now that it's clear, you were yelling at uh, titties. <laughs> Titus. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm actually really happy to hear, too, that you got a, uh, a desktop now. Because whenever my side project is uh, at a state where I'm ready to to test it out, uh, I'll be able to send you a copy of it so you can you can test play it with us, man. Because I mean, while I could do a mobile build, it would be a, a pain in the ass to get touch controls working. So I'm probably not going to, <laughs> not unless it actually becomes a commercial project uh, product or something. Then maybe, big maybe on that, but name apparently means illusion and since you got a different one than what i ordered i figured the name was good hey that's really smart yeah that's a really good name for it what language is that though do you know or is it just like just i don't know made up <laughs> tross what can we steal from tross grenades every fish in the ocean apparently just carries grenades man <laughs> fair uh, don't kill, question mark. Uh, no, I don't really care to raise their defense and attack. I wouldn't mind my own defense and attack being raised a little bit, but how well do these grenades work underwater? Pretty damn well, actually. <laughs> don't you run away from us, Tross. Tross, bro. Out of attack range? Well, yeah, no shit. Trigger commands. Special commands become available in certain battles. Press left in the command window to access them. All right, stand by, I guess. Can't really do anything else, so. No idea. It just Googled names meaning confused, and it came up. Wait, hold on. Wait, what? <laughs> Does it not mean what you thought it meant then? Also, did we heal by waiting? That's pretty cool. Uh, Question mark lady goes next. Okay. So, attack. She can heal herself. Especially since her actual attack is kind of trash anyways. Yeah, just use regular potion. No, never mind. The lion's name in Narnia is uh, as Aslan. Aslan? Aslan. <laughs> really close, though. <laughs> uh. Ah, way to miss, bro. Speak of get good. 
This octopus needs to get good. You know what trend I've been seeing on TikTok lately? I normally don't really get on TikTok, but I've been watching it a little bit more the past day or two. Because I've just been, like I said earlier, kind of exhausted, just chilling in, in bed. Uh, but it's a, uh, like, Smasher Pass Disney edition. And <laughs> there's this one girl, I don't know her account's name, but it's absolutely hilarious watching her do Smasher Pass. Like, she's, she's just hilarious. And, uh, the characters that, that gets picked. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> the reason this made me think of it, a, uh, octopus from, I don't remember which movie it was, popped up. And, uh, she was very reluctant, but it kind of said smash and then very quickly moved on to the next one. And, uh, yep. <laughs> uh. Oh, you were thinking that's where the name came from for a second. Makes sense. Uh, you know what? Let's use another grenade. Why not? Underwater grenades for the win, boy. Let's go. Mm, this dude gonna make me use all my potions. Although she's been getting pretty good hits the last couple times. Is it because we're, like, surrounding it? Or is she just getting lucky with some, uh some crits or something like that. I really don't want to use a heal. Uh, she must have been getting lucky with crits, because, yeah, <laughs> that 57 hit was ass. Take that, octopus bro. Ain't got shit on titties and, uh, Abed lady. Also, that looks like a giant arc of electricity underwater. I don't think that's safe. So, question mark, how are you enjoying traveling with Titty so far? That's... <laughs> I, I don't remember how long it is until we name her, but yeah, it's a little awkward that we're just like... Chilling with this lady. And we don't even know her name yet. Just question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Ah, uh, bright light. That can't be good for the local, uh, local, what's it called? Ecology? <laughs> All the fishies and shit. Can't be good for them. How shiny. Where did you put the plug? The butt plug? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the tub plug. Because you're getting a, uh, a bath. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, it was on the uh, side of the tub. Okay, you found it. That's good. That's good. What the hell? <laughs> uh, you don't want to know where the plug was. I wasn't sure what she was talking about, that's all. <laughs> You didn't put it where it goes? Au contraire. It's exactly where it's supposed to be. I'm s <laughs> oh. <laughs> so anyways, video games. <laughs> uh. <laughs> we don't even have a butt plug. This is true. We don't, but... <laughs> but I can pretend like we have one, goddammit. <laughs> oh. Did... Alright, I didn't realize Titties was a freaking dog here, man. He's <laughs> just shaking the water off when he gets out of the... Well, water. He just say bruschetta? We talking about food? All I got was airship? I mean... Same. <laughs> Same, bro. Same. Ugh, hungry. Freaking mood, bro. I just ate probably like two hours ago. <laughs> Maybe three at this point. Yeah, okay. I guess it's getting pretty close time to eat again. Especially with pizza, man. That's the one thing, like, about pizza and pasta. Like, I feel like it doesn't fill you up that long. Just not enough protein, you know? 
I still want to smack these jerks. But you got snacks. What kind of snacks you got, Rue? We got some, uh, what are those folded chips called? Noodle? They're like layers or something like that. They taste like, uh, bugles. The, those chips that you put on your fingers. But potato instead of corny, you know? Potato-y. Chips and salsa? Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Chips and salsa is one of my favorite snacks. Especially Doritos and salsa, man. It's just a wonderful mix. Layered Lay's chips, that's what they're called. Guess it was spicy. Hello there. What is your name? It's about time, you ask. Dick. You really do understand. <laughs> Lady walking around speaking perfect English. Didn't think she could understand English. Like, <laughs> uh, why didn't you say so earlier? I didn't get a chance to. Everyone thought we were a fiend. Uh, we? Oh, we means you. No, we uh, means we. <laughs> who are you guys anyway? What's that? <laughs> Uh, I got a pizza with Canadian pizza? bacon, regular bacon, and barbecue on it. I've never been a huge uh, barbecue pizza person. Like, it's fine, but it's never been my favorite. I got uh, Italian sausage and pepperoni with marinara. Noodle got the pineapple and ham, I think. A gross-ass pizza. And then we got a uh, Alfredo one to share as our free one. Finally, we get a name. Hickory Barbecue and Salsa. Never tried it, but I totally would. I'm not like, I'm really picky about chips, though. So I usually don't have Hickory Barbecue chips laying around. Noodle does sometimes. And Sin's attack. And about how Aaron and I were engulfed in this light. I just said things as they came to mind. But then I started to wonder. Guys, we made a friend. Did I say something? Titty's made a friend. You were near sin. I'm guessing narrator is older titties. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I uh, I know a bit about. I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> Spoilers. It's when you like getting once in a while. Usually garlic is your personal go-to. Yeah, my only problem, Domino's is the only place around here that I know of that has a, a garlic option for their pizza. A thousand years ago? What? Anyways, uh, and I'm pretty sure they use canned garlic because it tastes sour. And uh, garlic carries botulism, so they have to put citric acid whenever they jar it to stop it from growing. And, you know, killing people. You're saying that happened a thousand years ago? No and, way. uh... Yeah, citric acid obviously is sour. And I'm not a huge fan of sour garlic. I love sour shit, but, like... Not, but, like, sour garlic is just, eh. Not my thing, man. Papa John's has it, too. <laughs> <coughs> See, we, uh, like, never order Papa John's. So... I have to check out that out and see. Oh, I always forget about the, the den, man. Always forget about the den, which is ridiculous because I live, like, 30 seconds from it. <laughs> I can damn near see it from my house. <laughs> and I always, always forget about the den. You said... You play Blitzball? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> uh -huh. you, you're, you're, you're a little confused there? No. You okay, Shreem? Oh, I'm fine. Someone might know who you are, or you might find someone you recognize. Luca? I mean, after a thousand years, I doubt it. I was a little famous. I wasn't that famous, you know? <laughs> don't, don't think anyone's going to recognize me there. Okay, leave it to me. I'll get you to Luca. Promise. Thanks, B. You'd rather stay here? Uh-uh. Okay, I'll go tell the others. Wait here. What, you mean on this ship where I get beat every other minute? Like... <laughs> Don't tell anyone here from Xanarkand, okay? Yevon says it's a holy place. You might upset someone. Oh, uh-huh. 
Why the hell was Xanarkin a holy place? Like, have you seen Xanarkin? It, it reminds me more of, like, Los Angeles or something than, a, <laughs> than some holy ground. Don't stress Xanarkin? out too much, Riku. Some kind of yeah, right. Place? Exactly. Exactly, yeah, older right, titties. I thought. Since when? Yevon? Sin? Luca? I thought Sin just took me to a faraway place that I could go back in a day or two. But a thousand years into the future? Ah, it's nothing. Child's play. No way. Uh, uh. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> way to just bust their entire ship, bro. Damn. If you get Papa John's, you suggest garlic with seven Italian cheese. That sounds pretty good, not gonna lie. Shit, bro, why'd you do that? <laughs> it's almost like Sin's got it out for us personally, man. I don't get it. Do be following us everywhere. Kind of a creep. Someone needs to teach him manners, like. <laughs> well, fuck you too, Sin. Save current game? I mean, yeah. Why wouldn't we? Just save over the that one there. Basically, just saved. Oh, God. <coughs> ah. Now we're in the unknown sea. Face down. <laughs> oh no. We drowned, guys. GG, game's over. That's a short Final Fantasy. Got through it in, uh, what? How long's it been? An hour and 15 minutes that we've been recording? Like, <laughs> now where we lost that? This is the, uh. <laughs> this is Destiny Island from Kingdom Hearts, man. You don't recognize it? We woke up, we're yelling at Riku, we're on an island, Titties is here, so is, uh, that guy whose name I forget. <laughs> I was legit typing that, yeah, yeah. I don't know if this was actually the inspiration for Destiny Island or not, but uh, there's definitely some parallels here, like... Hey, Redhead looks familiar. He he was on the island in Kingdom Hearts, a younger version of him. Yeah, younger version of him and uh, Titties here were both on the the island at and uh, Kingdom Hearts when we were playing that. I completely forget his name though. What's with like all the pausing when he speaks? <laughs> well, I mean, I am the number one Bliss Ball player in the entire universe. 1,000 years isn't going to change that, man. Come on. <laughs> Confused murmur. What team you say again? Uh, I meant forget that. Uh, I got too uh, close to sin, and my head's all foggy, like. So uh, I don't know. <laughs> Did you forget the warning? Or even Did he came. stop it? <laughs> to you, but you're still alive. Hey, I can tuck you away tonight. They fixed it. What? Excuse me? <laughs> what, what are you going to do to me tonight? <laughs> oh, you mean like the the little the little in the in the corner. You can have me in the corner and still playing on your on your phone. Okay. Very confused. <laughs> Who the hell is Yevin? Uh Waka, that's the dude's name, but uh, I don't know. 
Isn't Waka the sound that Pac-Man makes? Speaking of that, though, Waka Waka Waka. Anyways, uh, shit. Sorry, my my mind's everywhere. I'm pretty sure I actually do have ADHD. Like, there again on the TikTok thing. There's a, a dude that I that I watch on there who has ADHD, and he's always talking about like uh, he does different skits based around things that people with ADHD do and have, like symptoms they have and stuff like that. And the more I watch him, the more I uh, the more I feel for him. I'm like. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, ADD is technically what I was diagnosed with, um, not ADHD, but, like, weren't the two merged together at some point? Now it's just, like, a spectrum instead of, like, two distinct disorders or something like that. But, anyways, yeah, yeah, so, like, I don't know. I think maybe they weren't so wrong after all <laughs> whenever they diagnosed me with that. Just, like, the, the, t today, for instance, he was talking about, uh, hyper fixating on projects that's what his skit was about and he brought up the fact that like sometimes he'll just go like a whole day working on something completely forgetting to eat or talk to anybody or drink or anything like that and i legit do that all the time and <laughs> like if i'm doing something that i'm that i uh actually enjoy like a project that i'm working on or whatever i'll legit forget to to eat until like noodle comes home and then noodle will yell at me because i haven't eaten all day uh <laughs> and uh like, I'll completely forget to drink anything until I start getting a splitting headache. And I'm like, why the hell does my head hurt so bad? And then I look over at the clock and it's been like six hours and I haven't had a single drink of water or, or anything. I'm just like, oh, yeah, uh, that might be the problem. <laughs> I saw you sent me a couple the last week or so. Have you watched any of mine I've sent you at all? No, we're supposed to watch one a night, remember? We just always forget to do it. You should watch the, uh, I sent you one today, the, the dude, it's a, I don't know the name of the band, but it reminded me of, like, 2000s rock, uh, like, like, like emo alt rock sort rock of stuff, like, not emo rock, I don't know, man, I don't know how to explain it, but it reminds me of, like, some of the, uh, the shit that you would have listened to. Destroyed, right? A thousand years ago? So, it's just a big pile Just emo music? <laughs> Hyperfixation is wonderful. I don't know, man. The not eating or drinking anything for, for you know, an entire day. Because my brain can't think of anything other than what I'm looking at is a bit of a problem sometimes. Sin came and destroyed the Machina cities. And Xanarkand along with them. So you put water in your view to semi help with drinking and who needs food? I Honestly, that's true. That's another thing that he talks about is out of sight, out of mind. And I definitely have that problem. Like, 100% have that problem. Fair. But you from the Xanarkand Daves, that was a good one, huh? Hey, I'm not saying that team never existed, yeah? Ha <laughs> ha, but you gotta figure, a team living in luxury like that be pretty soft, eh? I appreciated the fact that Waka was trying to cheer me up. But at that time, all I could think about was everything mm. that happened to me. Classic this, Final Fantasy with Emo Boy protagonist, let's go. Maybe if I could find Sin one more time, I could go home. For now, I just live life until that time came. No more worrying about where or when I was. Sure, it was hard not to think of home, but I started to feel better already. A little better. Maybe. See, like, this game actually looks really good, man. Like, obviously it doesn't look as good as, like, a, a new PS4 or 5 game or whatever, but, like, this was on the PS2, and a relatively early game on the PS2. Like, it looks good, in my opinion. But uh, another thing that that account was talking about with the, the out of sight, out of mind thing that you brought up, he was talking about that. And one of the skits was like, uh, hey, I, I spoke to your mom today or something. When's the last time you spoke to her? And he's like, oh, yeah, I should probably I should probably like do that. It's been, you know, a few months or whatever. And he's like, holy shit, how's it been a few months? And he's like, oh, I don't know, man. I guess I just never really thought about it, but I, I should probably do that. And then they brought up the whole uh, out of sight, out of mind. Like, it's just. He doesn't see her, so he just doesn't think about it. It's not that he doesn't care about her or doesn't love his mom or anything like that or and dad and shit. But it's like, you know, I don't see them, so I don't think about them. Like, if it's not in front of me, it basically doesn't exist half the time. So, like, <laughs> yeah. Oops. And that's 100% me, man. Like, I love my mom dearly, but, uh, 
But yeah, I, I just, it doesn't cross my mind. I'm fairly certain Noodle talks to my mother more than I do. You watched that one weeks ago, you already had it liked, you sent it to your sister. Well, I mean, okay, whatever. <laughs> Emo boys are especially attractive, rather attractive. I, uh, I mean, I got nothing against Emo boys. It just depends on the Emo boy. Because the ones Noodle-like are usually look like, uh, I call them cracked out Emo boys, because... <laughs> A lot of times they look cracked out. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, hey, whatever. You are allowed to like what you like. My mom does not understand this, however, my dad does. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I uh, I don't know if my mom understands it or not, but she doesn't like get on my ass about it. Though I'm sure she would like it if I spoke to her a little more often. Right, Noodle? I swear we could go on for hours about our interests. <laughs> oh, Lord. Y'all with your crackheads. <laughs> uh, yours does get on you about it? Is that what you mean? I get it. Like, as a, as a parent, I, I could imagine that'd probably be uh, pretty annoying. Right? For your kid to just never talk to you. <laughs> but, like, at least if you're close. If you're if you're not close to each other, then... Yeah, why? I guess why would you? But me and my mother were pretty close for for a long time. And again, we're, we're on good terms, you know? I, I love my mother dearly, but never crosses my mind, man. Like, and I forget to text people back all the time. Because, like, I'll see the message, but then I'll forget about it for one reason or another. Or I'll clear it away because I'm busy doing something else. And then I'll just forget it's there for days. And it's like, I'm sorry, but I don't, like... <laughs> I forgot, man. It's nothing personal. It's just... Oops. <laughs> I barely talk to my mother and we live in the same house. That's rough, man. <laughs> oh, no. There's a TikToker named Jay Strider. Mm, yes. <laughs> I have no idea who that is. No idea. Talk to my mom like once a day. You don't have a whole lot of a choice though. She takes you to work and shit half the time. So Jay Strider is fucking hot. Not really. I prefer it that way. Fair. Fair. So I'm saying like if you're not close to to your mother or father or, or anybody, then you know it's like me. I, I never talk to my father ever, and why would I? Like. We have no relation, and that's perfectly fine. Relationship, I guess. We're technically related, but <laughs> only technically related. Gary is hotter, though. Gary's the, the thirst trap dude that you're always talking about, I'm assuming. Jay's friend is hot, too. I, <laughs> I have no idea who the hell y'all are talking about. Yeah, like, you need to text me once a week. I'm like, because I go days without noticing things. I mean, to let alone someone that argues with me all the time, right? Yeah, I don't. I don't. <laughs> Sorry, Ma. I love you. But, uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> IDK Noodle, Jay is hotter to me. I mean, Noodle and I have uh, very different tastes in men, so I, I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I would need to see Jay Strider to have an opinion, I guess, but Gary's okay, though, from what I've seen. Like, he's uh, definitely not my favorite. I, I prefer someone with a bit more body to them, but... <laughs> I have, uh, my, my tastes in men and women are, are pretty similar. I, I guess I prefer men a little bit more fit than I prefer women. Just, uh, you know, from my taste side of things. But, like, yeah. I'm also a pretty open person, though, so. <laughs> she wants me to text once a week, and you're sitting there like, Sierra needs to text, like, three times before I remember to reply sometimes. Mood. Total fucking mood, dude. <laughs> Get this apparently. 42. He's 42? <laughs> so you might call him daddy. 
<laughs> oh, Noodle's gonna beat me. Emo girls, that's a nice idea. Emo girls are nice. Emo, goth, alt, just alt in general, really. Jay is. I thought he was in his 20s, but he keeps fucking around about his age. <laughs> so wait, do you mean like every every video he just uh, says he's a different age or something like that? Or like... Not a bad idea, stream Daddy Jay. <laughs> oh... Sure thing. He said he was in his 50s at one point. I mean, hey, why not, you know? Also, I just realized, like, the whole Blitzball thing, we're, we're in that giant water sphere, and we don't have to breathe or whatever. But, like, we just had that big underwater mission, and we never had to come up for air for that either. Like... <laughs> Demonic Libra? That's a hell of a name there. This is where I was born. I started Blitz when I was five. I joined the Aurochs at 13, 10 years ago. 10 years. And we never won a game. Well, trash. After last year's tournament, I quit. Time seemed right. <laughs> <laughs> Titties is total uh total mood here. His stomach's just growling. They're all talking about all this uh major shit and he's just like, Man, can I get some food? But every time my mind wandered, I thought about the game. Ten years without a single win will do that. My first match last year was my big chance. But something else was on my mind. I couldn't focus. Nice excuse. Hey, hey! Noodle just sent me a screenshot. So what was that? Is that is that Strider? So, what's our goal? I don't care how we do. As long as we play our best. We give yeah, I mean, like, he's alright, but... Happy. Like I said, I prefer a little bit more meat on the bones if for for both goal, <laughs> men and women. Victory. Not into, like, super fit people in general. Just a personal win. preference, you know? Victory. Bro, you ain't gonna win with me on your team. Like, Titties might be great at Blitzball, but I am terrible. <laughs> I am really bad at it. I just, I don't understand how to play the game, like, at all. At least I never did before. I, I don't know these days. Uh, maybe we'll do a little bit better, but I doubt it. <laughs> like, uh, the one from the sea. After surviving your run-in with Sin, it would be a shame if something happened now. Would. Twould be a shame. It's my new favorite word. Twould. Luzu and Gata. Crusaders. Huh? Cruise of what? What? You forgot that too? Gotta have the built-in pillow, you know? Exactly, yeah, man. Exactly. <laughs> cool. In return... Yes, I do prefer men a little bit more fit than I prefer women, but, uh, that's just, like, uh, my type, though. Like, I can go, I can, I, I, yeah, I'm pretty open. <laughs> I, <laughs> I mean, uh, Noodle and I know that neither one of us are each other's types, and we've been together for ten years, so obviously we're at least a little bit into each other. <laughs> Got any food there? We'll get you something over there later. Take a look around first. Let's see. The Crusaders Lodge is over yonder. Luzu and Gata are usually there. Mm. I'm assuming that's a cat TikTok or something like that. <laughs> a cat TikTok or Facebook page or, or something. You do remember the prayer, right? Uh, there's a prayer. I'm assuming that's the symbol, right? Where we put our hand up to our face or whatever. Place, to tell the truth. Man, that's like the basics of the basics. All right, I'll show you.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Close enough, yeah. Go ahead, you try. Hmm. Hmm. Yup. Gonna make a ball. And bow. <laughs> Excellent. Look at that. We're freaking professionals already, man. Main coons, yeah. Okay, Holy now, fuck it, let me. <laughs> Any blitzball player would know that prayer. One, that term is uh, allowed now. Because we talk about main coon cats all the time. And uh two, you're a mod now, Rue. You can do all kinds of things. <laughs> Hey, we're in a village. We can do village things. Just in time for the stream to almost be over. <laughs> kind of sucks. That's the one problem with playing uh, JRPGs. For the, just for the gauntlet when we only have like a couple hours to play a game. Because like JRPGs just take so long to really get into the meat and potatoes of it. You know? So like two hours ain't shit. <laughs> for, for most JRPG games. My favorite's Lord O'Holland, yeah. Spitting image of me old hubby. <laughs> me old hubby. Got that Phoenix down, though. Get fucked, auto mod. <laughs> you and the auto mod need to learn to become friends. Why can't we all just get along? Uh, stock 13. Yeah, I mean, I think we're fine for now. Don't need to buy none of that shit. Didn't we pick something up at some point, though? Uh, ability, skills, special, white magic, black magic. Hmm, maybe we can't actually equip anything yet. Do we ever get the ability to equip? It's been so long, I don't remember. Her adoption fee is $3,900. That seems a bit excessive. Like, I'm not gonna pretend I know how much it costs to, uh, to, to breed cats or, or dogs or anything like that, but $3,900 seems, uh, real freaking expensive, man. I'm also against uh, adoption, though. Like, agencies like that. Like, purebred breeders and shit. I just... I don't know, man. There's so many animals out there, either on the streets or at a shelter or whatever. Like, I'd much rather people save those animals than give money to people that just want to breed cats or dogs. If nearby, it'll attack the island for sure. But it hasn't. It says a huge list of things you get with it. I'm sorry. I really don't know anything. Like uh to tell the truth, I uh, like toys and beds and shit like that, you think? Or You're kidding, right? What do you mean get with it? A toxin. Gotta tell him who we are. Yes, sir. The Crusaders are sworn to battle sin. We have chapters throughout Spira, accepting all who wish to join our struggle. The hero Mian you like <clears throat> your mixed breeds? Same. Years ago as the I think mixed breed players. cats and dogs are usually the grew and we cooler looking ones anyways. We've been fighting sin ever since. What? You've been fighting You're turning in, Rue. You That's alright, we're getting ready to wrap it up here soon anyways. Thank you for being here, Rue. I do appreciate you. And uh, just remember, everybody, we'll be playing a game tomorrow, most likely DMC. Because uh, we are going to be doing our, our finishing games on Saturdays now. So, yeah. But, Night Real, thanks for being here. I hope you like your new desktop, man. Have a good night. It does seem rather bad. We could just tell you, but I think it better for you to try and remember. Go pray at the temple. Perhaps Yevon will help you regain your memory. I have my memory, man. Toxins ain't bothering me none. Y'all just don't understand. I'm like a thousand two hundred years old or something. One one thousand twenty years old or whatever it is. <laughs> I'm old as shit. That's all I'm trying to say. Hey kitties. Hi kitties. Kitties me titties. <laughs> Alright. Uh I'm gonna check out these last two houses before we wrap in. Wrap up. Wrap in? Tuck in? I don't know, whatever. Cause why not? Long as I'm around, Besaid's weaving will be known as nothing but the best. Hey, thank you for the bits, love. I do appreciate you. You and your bits. If I buy cheap and so high, I'd be reeling, <laughs> rolling and gill in no time. <laughs> I'll be reeling, guys. I'll be reeling. Hey, it's Waka. Go Hi, Pac-Man. I'll think about it, you dick. What if I don't want to talk to the Temple Summoner? 
What if I just want to go kick Sin's ass now? Oh. Controls get a little bit weird on camera transitions. So you get the bits from my announcement, right? Wait, what? What do you mean? Your announcement? Did you announce something? Did I miss it? Is it the the Corgo? Is that where you're announcing that you want a Corgi? I don't. I'm confused. <laughs> Since struck Besaid Village so many times, I lost count. After this house got hit, I guess the owner just let it be. So can I steal all their shit? Like <laughs> my following announcement? Oh wait, did it cost you like real bits? I thought it. I thought you meant it cost you like channel points to do that. Uh, I don't know honestly how that works. Said so you're the first person to do that. I guess I'll uh, have to get back to you and let you know on that. <laughs> yeah, I guess you did say bits. I was thinking you uh, were talking about the the channel points that I was I was mistaken on that. But yeah, well, uh, I guess we'll find out. I'm not sure honestly how that works. Because that's a uh, a plugin, the latest followers plugin, is what you uh, interacted with. So I would imagine they would get some of those, but I would imagine I get some too. I'm not really sure. Appreciate the Crusader's zeal, but they must heed the teachings. Uh, don't tell me what to do, lady. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's a way for me to check right now either. Uh, analytics. Does it show up here? Yeah, no. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, it, it showed up. I do get most of them. Yeah, so the, the extension creator gets some, which is perfectly fair. You know, as they should. They made the extension. They deserve some bits. But I, I get I get some of them, too. So, yeah. No worries. No worries. It, uh, it, it flows through, if you will. I see that now. It just doesn't show up, like, on my, my activity feed. But it showed up in, like, my, my other screen there, so. But, guys, I mean, it's a few minutes early, but I don't remember how long that whole, like, temple section is. So I don't want to, like, go into there and then be stuck for an hour with cutscenes or something like that. So I think we're going to have to call it there for the actual gameplay. This is 100%, without a doubt, going on the complete list. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's that. I, I, <laughs> I love Final Fantasy games, and I want to beat them all. Because there's, there's so many of them that I've never beaten, but I've played... And for one reason or another, just never got around to. So, uh, that's, that's gonna happen. Like, just, <laughs> yeah. If people would rather see the HD version than the PS2 version, I would be willing to maybe bend the rules a little bit to do that. But I don't think they changed enough on the, uh, HD version to really make it worth it. Plus, uh, you know, 20 years from now, whenever we make it around to the PS3, PS4 era of video games, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll be replaying the game then anyways, right? Because, <laughs> uh, that is the plan, as I've mentioned before. I want to, uh, I want to collect all the PS2 stuff, then move backwards to the PS1, and then work my way, work my way up. So, you know, when I'm, a like, 80, 90-year-old man, we'll, uh, be collecting PS4, PS5 games, and, uh, <laughs> and I'll still be streaming, damn it. <laughs> Bye. I'm going to read a couple of chapters and then get my shower of you're done then. If you're done then, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty much done. I'm just saying bye to everyone. Goals, right? For real. But yeah. So thank you again, guys, for being here. Nate, appreciate you, man. Rue, I don't think you can hear us at this point, but I appreciate you as well. Noodle, of course. Thank you for the bits and for always being here, love. I appreciate you all, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow for whatever game we start playing. Probably DMC. Uh, that one seems the most likely. It's the only one that's really been requested so far that I own, at least. And uh, and it's one that I do want to beat regardless. So, And it's not super, super long. It's, it's apparently only eight-ish hours, assuming I don't get stuck for too long on any of the bosses. So, yeah. Peace out and have a good one, y'all. Have a great night, Nate. Thank you for being here, bud. I'll see you guys later.